I'm JP Wextrom, the chief executive of Helen. The energy sector is transforming. In our series, we open new avenues to the energy future with leading experts. Join us and learn how the new era of energy will change our everyday lives. Today we talk about how to scale up new products and services and solutions globally. And we have here Sari Mannonen, who is responsible for Helen's solution business, and Hanna Inget, who is responsible for Kones new services globally. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hanna, uh, what does it take from a company to be successful in a global business like Kone has done? Uh, that's that's excellent question. So uh, in my opinion, it all starts with the customers. So that's really understanding the customer value, understanding customer pain points, and uh, being a bit critical also. So that is it really solving customer pain points that we are now developing here, or is it just a, like a nice to have solution? But then uh, another thing is that that linking it to the strategy. So that 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 it needs to be very much linked to the strategy. Otherwise, there are no possibilities to, to be able to scale up. And also, I think one good question for the company is that, that yes, this is interesting solution, but is it our business, actually? So if, it, if the answer is that, yes, it's interesting, but uh, it's not very much linked to what we are doing and what our strategy is, then you just should do something else. And then, then I've, if I think about, like, after these two, two points, then it's, it's a lot about like uh, how to create commitment in the, in the organization and also, of course, then marketing and sales activities in the, in the market. But uh, if I start with the, the internal things, so what we have learned is that, that, that you, you need to be very clear on why, what and how. And uh, also that it's not only about this kind of like uh, that presenting these things on the high level, but, but really, really making the difference on the individual level. So, so that what's in it for me, so why would I change my behavior and uh, start to say, like, uh, like sell something, something new and uh, not just stay with the, the traditional products and, and services what I, what I have. Okay. Uh, Kone, Kone is a global company and you have succeeded extremely, extremely well. I mean, what is it that you have done right? What do you think? So... Um, I'm very inspired by our winning with customers strategy. So that, that, that it, it starts from, from this winning with customers. What does it mean concretely? What are we doing concretely different, differently when, when we have this winning with customers strategy? And the one thing what we have been doing is a co-creation with customers. So that, that really concretely started with the customers, that what is the, what is the value? And it's not only uh, in the beginning of the process, but, but also like, uh, like during the process when, when you are developing something, like uh, co-creating and understanding that this was our assumption, but then understanding from the customers that are we now right with our assumptions and is this really like a serving, serving customers? And um, also, also I think that one thing that, that we also need to learn is to, to have the courage also to fail fast so that, that when we are experimenting with, the, with, with customers, understanding that, okay, Actually, now it looks like uh, this is not so interesting. We, we need to make a change in our direction and uh, maybe we can utilize the same technology, but actually the use case, what we thought was not so interesting for the customers and, and, and we, can, we, we might have now, now, now better ideas. So in general, I think that for me, it's, it's all about people, like, uh, like so that we have the clarity what we are doing, but then we need to have the emotional commitment to what we are doing. So, so if people are not inspired, well, nothing will change. And then it doesn't matter that how much marketing efforts or, or so we are doing if uh, our people are not committed to really like and, and inspired and showing this also to customers and, uh, and uh, being active. Okay, good. In energy business, there are also uh, new services and solutions, of course. I mean, uh, what, what's, the, what's their role and what's the significance of these new services for energy companies? Sorry. Yeah, I think that uh, uh, new services are built on the existing services and products. That, that's very important. 
And uh, I see that that's uh, uh, leading in innovation, leading in, in uh, energy field, understanding the market, and uh, as, as I was just mentioned, that's uh, taking customers into the, the journey and uh, developing solutions and services that meet the customer demands and uh, building success by combining uh, the knowledge what Helen already has and then innovations together with customers and uh, uh, stakeholders or partners and with an efficient team and uh, inspiration and, and the passion and energetic people you can really build a, a successful business. Okay. So I think that's it's very important to, to have uh, people motivated, understanding the market, understanding the customer need and uh, doing uh, iterations so that uh, customers are involved in, in each step. Sorry, uh, what are the new services and solutions? I mean, can you, get, can you give me a couple of examples? Yeah. Uh, well, we have, uh, for example, solar energy, uh, not just the, the solar panels, but uh, we have uh, uh, provided customers also services so that uh, we can invest for them and provide uh, solar energy uh, as oh. a service, or we can sell them uh, uh, panels so that oh. uh, they buy a share of uh, our solar uh, plant and uh, by that they can reduce their carbon footprint. So uh, I would say that we have uh, products and then we have uh, services and, uh, and digitalization is uh, taking a big part in this too. Then we have uh, smart buildings where we combine uh, all the energy uh, services and, and uh, products that we have. Uh, let's take, for example, district heating, uh, cooling, uh, then we can uh, combine to, to the same housing or, or work together with construction companies with, with uh, ground source uh, heat or uh, geothermal energy and combine, make the most out of the, the uh, products and services that mm. we have combined to produce tailor-made uh, solutions for the customers and for different uh, customer segments as well. And uh, of course we have, uh, last but not least, we have uh, e-mobility. Mm. That is an, an interesting trend altogether. So uh, in, as a matter of fact, uh, Helen was one of the, was the first company who was uh, building the, the public charging station in, in uh, Helsinki already in uh, uh, 2009. Okay. And from there, so we have uh, developed our services and uh, building the, the public charging and also uh, different kind of charging stations mm. for, for various uh, needs. And from there, we need to go, go forward. So. Okay. You know, uh, scaling up uh, a new service line is, is very difficult. And uh, how do you scale up these businesses when there is actually no, no demand? I mean, these are all future services and customers don't even know uh, that they probably need the service. I mean, what's the trick? How to do it? <laughs> I don't think there's one trick. I think it's a combination of uh, various things. Really understanding the market where it's going, really understanding what the real customer needs are, uh, having a, a uh, set of all product and service portfolio so that uh, when talking to the customers, so you understand if his or her need is, uh, for example, reducing CO2 emissions, mm -hmm. if they have uh, carbon neutrality targets, so we can work together with them and, and uh, make a combination. So uh, defining what is what are the assets that uh, Helen has? What are the what is the, the knowledge and uh, who are the people who, who can do that? So with a uh, brilliant and uh, dedicated team, you, you can figure out the, the products and services that will meet the, the customer demand. And for that, you need to have a customer insight. You need to have a smart marketing. You have to have good sales, and uh, you you have to know how to produce services and products mm. uh, during the, the whole lifetime. And uh, scaling up, I think uh, you need to first be sure that uh, this is where you go. Uh, then you try out, and uh, as she said, so fail fast if that mm. doesn't work out. Then you go again to work with partners mm. or customers or both. And uh, then, then you iterate that. And when you found your sweet spots, mm. so to say, uh, then you just multiply that. And you very carefully select the customer segments mm. where you want to go. And uh, what is the competitive edge mm. in our services and products? So we don't want to be me too. Or if we do have me too products, we have to have something different mm. so that it really sells and okay. meets the customer demand. Hanna, can you tell us a couple of examples? What are the new solutions in Kone's case? Sure. So uh, last year, we launched uh, Kone DX Glass elevators, which means that there is a built-in connectivity in, in the elevators. And uh, it's not about technology, but it's more about the services and, and opportunities that, that we can then 
then offer to our, our customers uh, together with, uh, with ecosystem partners. So we are partnering with, with many different kinds of companies who can provide new services, working together with, with our, our elevators. And uh, what does this mean concretely? Uh, for example, there are more and more robots in the, in the buildings, like the cleaning ro robots or delivery robots. And uh, those need to have a, like a connectivity with the elevator. Otherwise, there should be somebody to actually guide then, then robot in a building. But uh, because of our API, then a robot can, can move in the building without any, any human uh, helping, helping the robot. And then that is, that is uh, improving operations in the, in the building. And uh, then there are a lot of, lot of other things what we can do. So we have uh, like a several API services. And, and then uh, we, are, we are looking for new partners all the time with, with whom we can, we can create a new, new services together for our customers. Okay. Uh, and then how do you scale these services and solutions up? I mean, how do you make this global business? Because this is our challenge also in energy business. Yes, so, um, well, that is a tricky question and a lot of activities are needed. So, so uh, starting, starting from the strategy and, and then linking it still to the, to the core business. So that, that basically it needs to be clear for, for our organization that, that what does this mean in a big picture? So why do we have uh, this kind of service and, and what is the position of this service in the bigger picture and, and uh, how do we concretize the value together, like uh, our value-added services, and then together with, with our equipment. And uh, what we have been doing there is that, that, that really went deeply to the, to the customer needs and understanding from the customer needs that, okay, what is the need and how we can respond. And, and then uh, building a clear understanding in the organization that this is why we are investing in these new services and maybe not doing, doing something else. And uh, when people feel that, okay, now I'm, I'm inspired, I understand, then uh, they are committed. And then we can go to normal, like business management uh, type of things, like being very systematic and uh, setting targets and uh, following targets and, uh, and also like uh, planning activities together. But it starts with this like uh, strategic thinking and then uh, people need to have this emotional commitment that this is, this is what I want to do. And it, it makes sense for me mm. in my role to actually sell these kind of new services. And one more learning is that, that, that when we launched 24-7 Connected Services, which is a revolution for, for maintenance, so, so with the uh, equipment data, we, we, can, we can predict and we can do different kind of activities for the equipment before there is anything that, that the end user would, would notice. So, uh, so one learning was that, that first we started to train salespeople, but actually, we need to train the whole organization so that they understand that, that what is this service, uh, what does it mean for me in my role, and how can I make a difference, uh, how can I promote this to our customers, how can I answer different kind of questions, and, and also that, that it, we have learned that it really takes time and effort so that we need to keep repeating uh, the messages and uh, and make it, make it clear that, that what is the connection between like a traditional products and services and, and new services. Okay. Sorry, uh, there are lots of new services and solutions in an energy business, like uh, you mentioned e-mobility and wind power and solar panels. I mean, can you elaborate a little bit more? I mean, how do you plan to grow, for instance, e-mobility? We are a local company in Finland today and plan to be much, much bigger and much, much bigger, especially in new solutions. How do you plan to do it? Yeah, well, if I take an example from my previous role, I'd say that uh, first you, you need to have a, a strategy. It all starts from strategy and then you have to figure out where you are good at, what kind of services you want to offer. And uh, there, for example, we were uh, producing a fuel that was a, a commodity. And we needed to figure out, because it was renewable fuel, how to build competitive edge compared to, to anyone else. We made uh, stories, we made publicity, uh, we were build building the plant, we were meeting uh, stakeholders, uh, we were uh, doing market research, we were doing uh, customer interviews, and uh, figuring out what is the selling point 
what, what, how, what, how we go forward, what do we need to do? And uh, it turned out that uh, the real need was to uh, buy CO2-3 energy. And this is, I think that the carbon neutrality is something we can build on. If, for example, with the, those uh, services, uh, we, we go together, for example, with construction companies when they build complete areas. So if we are early there and we can uh, work together with them, uh, we, we, can, we can build any business like that. And uh, you need to go step by step. In, in that business, we first started from Finland. In Helen, we should start from, from Helsinki, where we are strong already. So we have a lot of existing customers to whom we can contact and uh, go from there. And uh, th then you can go to the whole Finland and uh, who knows, maybe globally at, at uh, one stage. But uh, you need a passionate team. Technology makes it possible, people make it happen. Mm. And when you have a good process in, in uh, uh, product development, service development, you understand what you are doing, you, you have the customer need, uh, you figure out the concept, you work together with customers, then you multiply it, and then you find the right partners. I would say that uh, in e-mobility, it, it's uh, definitely a need to build a, a uh, ecosystem. We need to have a lot of uh, different partners, because how I see e-mobility is, is uh, going, all the traffic, it's going to be automated, it's going to be electric, it's going to be connected, it's going to be, you know, carbon free. And we need to be in the development already now, making sure that uh, we have, for example, the public charging stations, and then we can have the offering for the households. We need to have the right offering for the companies. Uh, then we need to have the right offerings for the construction companies. And once you get one, two big names, you use that as a reference, you communicate it, you use the references, and, and then you build the, the success story. I believe in storytelling a lot. That's what we did. Uh, going in, in different conferences, going in, in different, uh, uh, for example, talking to the ministries and uh, e even in, in uh, Brussels and uh, figuring out what is the real need and building on that, making sure that you have the si right products and services, uh, utilizing uh, Helen's knowledge and know-how and by combining the knowledge of the new people. I think you, you build it from there. There's no silver bullet really. But uh, you need to know what you are doing, you need to find the strategy, you need to do the market research, figure out where is the spot where you hit in the market, how you differentiate from the competitors. When you have that package combined mm -hmm. and you have people like, uh, yes, we can do it, attitude, then that's going to succeed. That's it. Yeah. Okay, uh, today we have been talking about a lot of uh, new services, new solutions, ecosystems, and scaling up things. I mean, how would you, Hanna, summarize? I mean, what is the the most important thing in scaling up global business? And same question to you, Sari. So I would start with the strategy and customers. And uh, when we think about that, that, how to scale up, it's all about people. So uh, being customer centric means also being people centric and uh, people make the difference. So uh, in, in all the activities, we need to focus on, on these three things and then, then we will we be the winner. Okay, Sorry. Yeah, I would say the same. So uh, as I already said, so technology makes it possible, people make it happen. But uh, I would say that uh, you also need to figure out what is the hidden customer mm -hmm. need and uh, hit there and make such an easy, smart service for the customers. And then, then you can scale up by having the existing products, building smart uh, digitalized services upon, on that and uh, combining that. And also I believe that uh, in certain ways you have to tailor make uh, the, the combination of, of the products. And uh, once you have one good combination and one good customers, you just multiply that. And uh, when you've uh, multiplied that in one region, you, you go uh, to the next one. You don't want to go, uh, everywhere at that once but you stake uh, you take small steps and then you uh, enlarge the business but uh, i would say that it's it's people and teams that that really make it happen thank you Hannah. sorry thank you, thank you.